Finding ways to slow cognitive decline and the onset of dementia is something researchers have been focusing on for years. But what if a recipe for keeping your brain healthy was readily available to everyone? Well, a new study finds that focusing on four areas can slow the effect of aging on our brains. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with what can help us all stay sharp. Yeah, Ty and Kimberly, so the latest study focused on people between 60 and 79 years old who were at risk for developing dementia. But the fact is, the four areas shown to have a benefit really applies to all of us, regardless of our age or dementia risk. The real question in the study was actually whether following the recipe closely mattered, and it did. The new study published in JAMA looked at the effect of four lifestyle interventions, physical exercise, nutrition, cognitive and social activity, and health coaching on the rate of change in mental function over two years. They found when people followed the recommended guidelines more closely, there was better protection from decline. But as Dr. Marina Novakova, a Henry Ford Health neurologist, points out, Even though people who were doing it mostly on their own, they still showed benefit from implementing those changes, no matter how small those changes were that they were able to implement. In the study, the exercise recommended focused on aerobic activity, 30 to 35 minutes a day for four days, strength training, 15 to 20 minutes a day for two days, and stretching activity, 10 to 15 minutes a day for two days. The, um, the recommended diet was something that's called mind diet. It's a combination of Mediterranean type of a diet where you eat a lot of green um, leafy vegetables, fruits, nuts, uh, fish, um, olive oil, and things like that. Another part of the diet is low salt diet. So that helps to minimize issues with your blood pressure. Next, there was a component of social engagement and computer-based brain training with a program called Brain HQ. That it does help to train your attention and your executive functioning skills. So things that require multitasking, planning, execution. And finally, there were regular checkups with your doctor focused on blood pressure and cholesterol, as well as your risk for diabetes or prediabetes. Now, Dr. Novakova also pointed out that if you want to start building these changes into your life, you can start small, adding one part at a time. Don't get overwhelmed feeling like you need to do everything all at once. But to be clear, the study does show the better you can adhere to the plan, the better your results will be. Yeah, but just still take it one step at a time exactly. better than nothing. Yeah. Diet, exercise, see your doctor. There you go. All right, Dr. McGeorge, thank Encouraging you. Encouraging news, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right.